Spain is one of the most diverse nations in Europe, with 50 provinces, 17 autonomous regions, and at least five different official languages. Every turn is unique from the previous, with striking examples of classic architecture, coexisting with cutting-edge artistic trends and more. Stunning Spain has it all – mountains, beaches, cities, and villages. The best activities in Spain highlight all of its amazing qualities. Beautiful beaches, exciting festivals, breathtaking natural scenery, and some of the world's most magnificent people can all be found in Spain. This is Spain, at its finest from Galicia to Catalonia via the Basque Country, Andalusia, and the rest. We created a list to help in figuring out what are the top 10 best things to do in Spain. Make sure to stay with us till the end, as you're going to love our number one pick. So let's get straight into it. Barcelona. Witness Antoni Gaudi's artwork. The works of Antoni Gaud, who is revered as the founder of Catalan modernism, should not be ignored. Nonetheless, there is a lot to enjoy right inside the boundaries of Barcelona's municipal borders when you're ready to investigate modernism beyond Gaud. When standing in front of Gaud's Casa Batlo, for instance, turn your head to the left to see Joseph Puig I Cataflaches Casa Amatler, which has only been there since 1900. The San Paolo Art Novo site is a former hospital that is now a modernist structure that you may visit up the street from the Sagrada Familia. Also, you can enjoy yourself even more by admiring the architecture of Puig I Cataflaches Casa Ramona, a former yarn and textile factory that now houses one of the city's top art museums, the Caixa Forum. Walk from Cadaqués to Cape de Cris on the old path. One of the most stunning locations on the Costa Brava is the Cap de Cris, or the Cris Point. Try the Cam Antique from Cadaqués, where you have been visiting the wonderful fishing village. To Cap de Cris, where you want to explore and are up for a long walk of 14 kilometers. You initially stroll along roads, but as you reach Port Ligat, where Salvador Dal formerly resided, you can tour his home. Things really start to pick up. There are the beaches of St. Louis and La Guilola, vast lands with deserted vineyards and the well-known local lighthouse. Some hikers choose the road just for the return trip, while others take both the road and the route. It takes around four hours to walk the entire distance, but it is well worth every minute. Granada. Visit Alhambra. You will undoubtedly go to Alhambra while in Granada. You must visit the Moorish monarch's palace and stronghold. The well-known Mirador di San Nicolas lies directly across the street in the steep Albaycan neighborhood where you may view it from a distance. The vantage point is located in a sizable area which is crowded with tourists taking in the view as well as buskers and vendors. Go back down or stop on your way up to Placida Carvajales Mirador de los Carvajal if you'd prefer a more serene setting. Alternatively, have a meal or drink at El Huerto de Juan Ranas, where you can watch the Alhambra transform from its daylight red to its nocturnal silhouette lit up. Although the location is expensive, you are paying for the view. Attend an Asturian Cider Celebration Spain's northern area takes great pride in its cuisine. The most common cuisine in Asturias is fabada, a bean and sausage stew. Nevertheless, you should also try other dishes like cachopo, which is akin to veal cordon bleu, and arroz with leche, that's rice pudding. The strong cider, also known as sidra, is another popular drink in Asturias. Finding an espicha cider party in a traditional Asturian institution where the drink is made and poured in accordance with tradition is the ideal way to try the cuisine and drink together. Pouring is a performance in and of itself with the glass held by the hips and the bottle raised above the head while the pourer stares off into the distance. Most bars, pincho spots and siderarias also sell cider. Taste Spain's Best Wines You may have heard or seen firsthand why Spanish wines are regarded as some of the greatest in the world. And if there is one region in Spain that is well known abroad for its vineyards and winemaking, it has to be La Rioja. Some of the most sought-after bottles in the market are made from the region's grapes, and you'll also find state-of-the-art wineries like those of Isios in La Guardia, created by the architect Santiago Calatrava and in El Ciego, put out by Frank Gehry. Also, Rioja wine in Spain is much cheaper than you might find at home. Wander off the beaten track in Extremadura. Extremadura, which borders Portugal, plunges travelers into one of Spain's less-traveled regions and is definitely worth a trip. 
half-timbered homes, snow-capped mountains, and cherry blossoms can be seen in the isolated Jerte, Ambrose, and La Vera valleys. From March to October, the 180 square kilometers of Park Nacional de Monfragüe offers world-class bird-watching opportunities. There are also some outstanding monumental cities, such as Meridia, for some of Spain's most significant Roman ruins, Trujillo, for its wealthy conqueror family, and Caceres, for its glistering medieval core. If you want to witness cherry blossoms in their full bloom, you don't even need to travel to Japan. But you must go to Valle del Jerte in Extremadura. You must arrive there precisely during the 15 days when they are in bloom. Of course, that also means that everyone else is there, but now is the perfect time to stroll around the fields scattered with cherry trees because you can be astounded by the sight of countless white blooms, which signal that the season's best bright red fruit is just about to ripen. Unravel the mysteries of Andalusia's Moorish architecture. Eight centuries of Islamic dominance over Spain resulted in some of the most beautiful buildings ever built, especially in Andalusia. The Alhambra in Granada, the Mesquita Cathedral in Cordoba, and the real Alcazar in Giralda in Seville are the unmissable jewels of Moorish Al-Andalus, but there are many others as well. Explore the magnificent Alcazabas or fortified palaces in Almera and Malaga. Hike through the uninhabited Aracena Hills in Huelva or travel along the little-known Ruta del Califato, the route of the Caliphate, whose castle-topped villages mark the last medieval border between Christian and Islamic Spain. Road trip around Galicia's lyrical landscapes. Galicia is sometimes jokingly referred to as California, which makes sense considering the area's extensive white sand beaches and chilly but clear waters. Take a sail down the scenic Ras Baixas and explore the Isla Atlanticas National Park next. Outside of Santiago de Compostela, explore charming stone towns, old wineries, deep valleys and more than a thousand kilometers of wild, windswept coastline that is peppered with lovely beaches which comprises the magnificent islands of Cortegada, Ons, Ses, and Salvora. Summertime camping is prohibited and requires advance reservations in order to preserve this protected ecosystem. This comes after you sample the regional speciality known as Polvo a Fera, which you are supposed to do. One of the many delights to be discovered in Spain's breathtakingly green northwest is Galatian experiences like sipping a glass of crisp alberio with a dish of as fresh as it gets seafood. Discover Spain's best olive oil. The Mar de Olivos or Sea of Olives in central Andalusia is a hidden in plain sight delight if you've ever wondered where those liquid gold Spanish olive oils originate from. Priego de Cordoba in the Sierra Sabetica is the shining light and the region's 15,000 square kilometers of undulating hills, rugged peaks, and peaceful valleys are home to some of the world's best olive oil producers. Visit the nearby Almazaras or olive mills for tastings, tours, and strolls through the olive orchards, and stay in one of the area's tranquil rural hotels. Several of these establishments provide home-cooked meals using their own olive oils. In Valencia, get horchata the right way. No other part of the world is as good for savoring a horchata as Valencia and its surroundings. After tiger nuts were introduced in the area, the original horchata's milk-based base and its popularity as a popular non-alcoholic beverage took off. Horchatera Santa Catalina, which has been in business for two centuries, is one of Valencia's top locations for a cool flavor. When you realize you can't get enough of it, Go to adjacent Alboraya, the horchata capital, to get your dose of horchatera Daniel. Throughout the summer, the location transforms into a spiritual center devoted to this Valencian national beverage. In conclusion, Spain is a country that offers a diverse range of experiences for visitors. From stunning natural landscapes to architectural masterpieces, Spain has something for everyone. The top 10 activities we highlighted in this video showcase some of the best experiences that Spain has to offer from walking the old path in Caracas to tasting Spain's best wines in La Rioja. Whether you're looking to soak up the sun or beautiful beaches or explore the unique culture and traditions of Spain, you won't be disappointed. So start planning your trip and get ready to experience all that this amazing country has to offer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from our viewers. See you in the next video.